Hola! In this video, I'm going to talk about verb conjugation in Spanish. I'm going to give you examples, tools, and how to practice verb conjugation. So let's get started with the examples. Remember that in Spanish we have regular verbs, as in trabajar, to work. So some examples are trabajo, trabajé, trabajaré, trabaje, trabajaría. So these are some examples of different tenses and different modes of the verb trabajar. What you can see here is that the root word never changes. It's always trabajo, trabajé, only the end changes, the ending changes, but the root word is the same. So this is a type of regular verbs. Then you have another type, which is irregular verbs. And here's an example, hacer. Hago, hice, haré, haga, haría. As you can see, the word is very regular. It changes. Hago, hice, haré, haga, haría. This, is in this uh, verb is conjugated in different tenses and different modes. So you have to understand that verbs in Spanish will change according to the person, I, you, he, she, and all the rest, and they can be either regular or irregular. So let's have a look at the tools. So you have to understand the modes in Spanish. The three modes, indicative, subjunctive, imperative. Hay tres modos. There are three modes. Hay tres modos. Indicativo, subjuntivo, imperativo. And the verb will change according to each mode. The next thing is to learn the tenses in the past, in the present, and in the future. Aprender los tiempos del pasado, presente y futuro. The other thing you have to do is to use the online verb conjugation just to check. Okay, so first try to come up with the verb form and then use the online verb conjugation to check. I'm going to leave a few links below the video. The next one is to learn, understand and practice the rules, the verb endings and changes. This is very important and I highly recommend that you practice and that you learn from a teacher and you practice to get the feedback. This is the most important. Write real examples. Escribe ejemplos reales. If you write real examples, then it will be easier for you to remember the changes. The last one is get feedback from a teacher. This is very important. You need to be corrected if you make a mistake and you need to get practice from a teacher. A grammar book is highly recommended as well. So I'm going to leave a few links below the video. And the last one is practice verb conjugation. So how can you practice? You can write, you can talk about, you can ask, answer questions, listen or read to practice the present time. You can write about your routine, your job, your family, hobbies, free time activities. You can talk about, you can read about routines, families. If you want to practice the past conjugation, you can write, talk about, etc. what you did last weekend, on your last birthday, your last vacation. You can ask your teacher about this, uh, these things, about her last weekend or about his last birthday. If you want to practice the future, you can uh, write, talk about, ask about your plans, holidays, next trip, next weekend. If you do any of these things, you'll be practicing verb conjugation in Spanish. Another thing you can do is to express wishes, hypothetical situations, opinions, doubts, likes and dislikes, concerns, preferences, orders, and so many other things. If you do any of these other things, you will be practicing verb conjugation in all the different forms. You can give your opinion about something in the present, in the future. You can use, you can talk about an, a hypothetical situation in the, in the past, in the future. So I highly recommend that you do any of these things and that you start practicing. That's the best way to understand verb conjugation. If you like this video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more learning updates. See you in the next video. Ciao, nos vemos.